Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. We're seeing a tremendous game here from the Cobra. And really, all of a sudden, he's becoming their best distributor, doing a great job of orchestrating their offense. Greg, typically that's not the role he usually plays, and I'm not sure how comfortable he is in it, but they've needed him to make some plays today, and he's been able to do it to his credit. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On the court for Orlando, and at the two and three, it's Oladipo and Tobias Harris. Gordon and Vucevic, the big men inside, and it's Napier in at the five. Certainly the biggest surprise last year, Clark was the play of the Atlanta Hawks. You would have picked them to win the East at the start of the season. Well, they did it, and they earned it. Um, the Hawks didn't have any superstars on their roster, but they won with solid team play. Dish is to Oladipo. Oladipo, left side. Leads him in there. And the basket by Napier. Napier's got 12 points in the game. And that's what you want to see. Good fundamental sound basketball with the bounce pass. Here's the Cobra. 13 points in the game. Max in. Cephalosha. Here's Corver for three. Can't get it to go. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. It's tipped. Harris passes to Oladipo. Napier. Wide open look. Rebounded by Corver. Atlanta leading by 11. Pass to Cephalosha. Shot is off. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. Now the feed to Napier. Kicks to Vucevic. No zaps there. Oladipo dishes to Harris. No good with the triple. Oh, that's got to be deflating and disappointing to miss a wide open shot like that right in your wheelhouse. Corver with it. Now defended by Oladipo. Here's the Cobra, averaging 23 points a game and is one of the more consistent producers on any given night. Here's Millsap, Atlanta again, missing. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a tough time getting it going here. Here's Oladipo, Horford with the block. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. The Cobra passes to Court. Here's the Cobra. He dishes it to Millsap. Outside Corver to stop the drought. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Millsap was signed by the Hawks in 2013 to replace the outgoing Josh Smith. Yeah, I think that was a pretty good swap for him, Kevin. Uh, they got a great deal on his contract, and, you know, he was due for a nice raise this summer, and well, that's a win-win. And Millsap finally getting some recognition, deservedly so, in Atlanta. I mean, lost in the crowd a bit in the West playing for Utah. He's been an all-star in the East the past two seasons. Here's Napier. He's got 12. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. That's good. Napier's got 14 points for the game. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Guys, the Hawks even put up a 15-foot 3D billboard, basically a statue of Paul Millsap along 85 North. And for a player who's gone under the radar, this star is definitely on the rise here in the ATL. Here's Napier. He's got 14. outside four on the clock 
count it from 12. 11 points in the game. The Hawks leading by 13. And the pass to Millsap. Outside Korver. Three-pointer. Another three for Atlanta. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Three of their last five makes come from beyond the arc. The defense has to react quicker. Back to Harris. He passes to Nathan. Feeds to Oladipo. Shot clock at six. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Kyle Corver. You know, not many saw it coming last season with the Hawks. I mean, they just ran away with the Eastern Conference. It was the first time they took the East since 1994. First free throw is good. And with the Hawks and the E's, they just dominated the rest of the division. 39 of the Hawks' 60 regular season wins came in conference. Yeah, and across the board, the Hawks statistically just dominated all Eastern opponents. They shot it better, played better defense, took better care of the ball. They are set up to be a factor in this conference for a long time. Oladipo hits them both. It's the third straight year now for the Magic where they finish at the bottom of the Southeast Division. I mean, there was some shuffling at the top, but the Magic still couldn't make up any ground on the rest of the division. Here's the Cobra. He's got 16. I got him. Pass to Mescal. Here's the Cobra, guarded by Fry. The Cobra passes to Mescal. Shot clock at five. Here's Teague. Can't hit the free throw line jump for the Orlando Magic. They were once the powerhouse of this Southeast Division. Took home three straight division titles. 08, 09, and 10. Yeah, and yeah, Kevin, that just goes to show how fortunes can change in the NBA. The Magic just can't get any momentum, it seems. And until they start building around something, they'll still have problems in the rough and tumble of the Southeast. He feeds it to Muscala. Hawks passing it around. Knocked loose. And stolen by Napier. And up the court come the Magic on the break. Pass to Fry. He kicks it to Napier. Here's Azania. Good. And it's Napier with the assist that time. Napier's got assist number seven for him tonight. Well executed possession. They controlled the shot. Nicely done. Teague the pass to the Cobra. Releases. Drilled from six feet. The Cobra's got 18 points. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Pass to Hazania. Banked in off the glass. Hazania's got his third basket of the night right there. The Hawks leading by 11. The Cobra passes to Moscow. Here's the Cobra, guarded by Fry. The Cobra... Another three for Atlanta. That's been their bread and butter in the second half. They've really knocked down their long-range shots. And, and as hot as they are, no need to play conservative. Keep firing away. The dish to front. Puts the lead pass in front of them. Smith, no luck. That's a huge part of what they want to do defensively. Limit his easy chances inside. No good from the coach. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. And Fournier kicks the Fry. Gets the three-point of the ball. Fry's got eight points here in this quarter. And when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. The Hawks have gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Scott kicks the tee. A pass to the goal. This is the holiday. 
Here's the Cobra. Backing in. Just five to shoot. Here's Napier. He's got 14. It's Oladipo on the wing. And there's the feet to Smith. Kicks to Napier. Left side, Harris. Taken away by Holiday. To the inside. A nice shot by Teague. Teague's got 10 points. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Hawks. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Yeah, I think you also have to give them a lot of credit for how well they've risen up to meet shooters to challenge shots in this game. Uh, a lot of blocked shots tonight. The points just keep coming for them this quarter, and just at the right time, too, as they try to narrow the deficit. There's 117 left to play here in the third. Outside Holiday. Pocket six. Teague drives in, and the layup is good. Teague's got four points this quarter. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. And that's a good strategy when you're on top. Harris dishes to Oladipo. Smith with a screen on Teague. Here's Oladipo. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Oladipo's got 15. Oh, terrific work finishing a soft move like that. The finger roll. Back to Scott. Scott, a former second-round draft pick who has carved out a role here in the NBA the last two seasons. Clark, he was a major contributor off the bench. Yeah, he's a bit of a tweener, you know, not big enough to maintain position down low on a consistent basis and not quick enough to really be a three-man or small forward. But what he can do is get to the basket, rebound okay, and knock down the deep shot. First one falls for him. And getting back to Mike Scott, his three-point percentage and attempts have increased each year he's been in the league. With a high, quick release, he's capable of making tough shots with a hand in his face in a way other players simply can't. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. El Horford's checked in for Mike Muscala. And Tabo Cephalosha subbed in for Justin Holiday. So he gets them both. 